Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host Zlot. Uh, this is the Alpha 7 Experimental Branch, uh, episode 13 of the series. So, uh, last episode we flew to the moon. We got some, a bunch of Pentaxa. That was absolutely awesome. Uh, we had this. We had to smash the turrets down on a close by POI to do it, but it was so worth it. Uh, we also, off camera, I went and found a cobalt node that I could actually get to. The other, there was a couple others. There was one that was guarded by a real nasty POI, and then another that was guarded by this ginormous, what I'm thinking is the drone base. Uh, so I got one full deposit's worth. And, I mean, that's all cool and dandy. It was more the Pentaxid that I was really worried about. So let's, where did I put that now? I think I have, what do we got left here to cook? Oh, that'll be plenty. Let's just take that with me. So you can see I've also got fusion cells up and running. Um, I did level up while I was out on the moon, so I, I am now level 21. Oh, right, I haven't spec level 21. I just leveled 21 by picking some some vegetables upstairs. So let's take a look at what we can unlock. Level 21. So I've got 107 points. Let's get my weapons up to speed here. Um, what I mean by that is just being able to make everything up to my level. Uh, okay, so let's... I've already chosen everything in the tools tree and I think the miscellaneous is completely selected too yep okay hover vehicle I think is also well I could do the jet and a couple of other items I don't really need those right now I'm more concerned about getting the stuff that I need um, I'll never I'll probably never even use the rail gun plasma cannon or pulse laser to tell you the truth <laughs> I will the the homing rockets eventually when I get some magnesium and zascosium to restroom. Okay, let's take a look about capital vessel stuff then. Uh, so we're into the bigger thrusters. Oop, hey, that was derpage. And let's try that again. <laughs> okay, so capital vessel, we're into the bigger thrusters. Um... base, offline protection, uh, we're just into the big weaponry, which I really can't take anymore, or can't take yet, I, I just don't, I can't build them, and I don't have the ammo for them, oh, what the hell, we'll take a passenger seat, for the CV, offline protection, I'm not going to need that, might as well take the rocket launcher, because I will want that. I'm not going to need the big giant thrusters. And in fact, my first CV I make is only going to have these medium blocks. So, I mean, everything I'm choosing right now is moot because I can't make it. I don't have the mats. Okay, let's get out of that tree. But what you do see that I have on me is my pulse rifle. So I did have enough looting uh, a couple of space drones to, to to be able to build this pulse rifle. So that's that's huge. That's way better than the standard tier 1 assault rifle. Uh, not only does it have a bigger magazine capacity, it shoots faster, far, farther, so better range, and way more damage. So that's awesome. I made one of those. So now, what I want to do today is, let me grab my stuff out of here. So let's take this 300 pentaxid. We have a ton of fuel, we have a ton of oxygen on us, we have a ton of pentaxid. Um, mm, you know what? probably steal some out of here really quick so I don't have to make any. Let's just, let's just take some, uh, we'll take some uh, ammo out of here. Where's my ammo? Ammo, 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 ammo,
double box top. Learn a spell. So we'll take one. We will take two two thousand. That still leaves um, over two thousand for there. Actually three thousand. So that's lots. And we'll take some food with us. What do we got in here? We've got lots. Um, let's just take this can, this, this stack of cans here, small stack, medium stack, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so we should be ready to rock and roll. I also, um, those aren't ready yet, that's fine. Oh, did I put the, yes I did, okay, I put that away. I just want to make sure that I'm putting the vegetables, the canned goods away when I make them. Sometimes I'm... Oh, okay, let's put our jetpack on. Get up to our SV here. And so I repaired the SV. I removed one of the RCSs because it was a little too twitchy for me. So we'll see how that goes. It did feel a little bit more sluggish, so I think that might be a little easier to fly. Um, unlike HVs, you can over RCS and SV, it, you can make it too twitchy and hard to drive. So, let's just, let's just not get in because I can't jump. And oh yeah, forgot to mention, looted from the farm, so there was a farm on the moon. Yes, it was all sealed up. It had some awesome loot, uh, not to mention a set of heavy armor in one of the, uh, uh, repositories out on the deck. It was like, woo, heavy armor. Uh, so awesome. I've got heavy armor now. Oh, I don't even have the last slot filled. Uh, I don't need anything right now. I got the Evo boost in there. I'm not really gonna, I'm not planning on shooting up stuff by hand today. So today is going to be an exploration more or less try and find some neo sath maybe so let's fill all we've got lots there so we're gonna fill all we're gonna fill all so 4400 uh and eight yeah i mean we've got enough for exploring and let's just open that shutter door we'll climb in uh, oh, also, what I found at the farm was night vision goggles. So, uh, before I turn my light on, I'll go into night vision. So there's the night vision, and it's it's doable. I mean, it's a lot of people hate it, but you know what? You can see everything. So if I turn my light on, it kind of it doesn't really matter right now, but it it's hard to see things that are lit up with night vision. As you can see, it really, it just flares it right out. Uh, okay, so let's see what it looks like without night vision. So, hard to see. The only thing I can see is stuff straight ahead with my headlight. So, you know what? Let's just turn that off. We're going to, sorry folks, we're going to do the night sight now uh, at, at night time. It's just so much easier. There's a peel. That's that village over there. I'm not gonna... We've already looted him. There's no regen on the POIs in single player, so... I'll never go back to that village. There's no need. It only had two containers. Some people farm the, um... The guys there. I mean, maybe? I don't know. I don't really see the point. I, I can make bandages and stuff, so... And XP is coming along quite fast, so I'm, I'm not really not really interested in their stuff. Okay, so here we are out in space again. And let's take a look. Let's just quickly look around and make sure there's nothing going to creep up on us here. Looks fine. And you can see night vision is a little bit harsh in space if there's enough light to see by. So we're not going to be using the night vision probably in space unless we're on the moon when it's dark. So, where can we go? We have a full tank of fuel, full belly, full everything. 
So skill on is 14.7, so we can we can go there, we can go to the trading outpost, and we can go to Ninguez, so we can go to all of them. Um, Ninguez is another starting planet, that's interesting. And the trading outpost. I think I want to, I mean we've got lots of Pentaxid on us, it would take a while, we can do like 20 jumps right now with the amount of tax we have so let's let's try Ninga's uh, basically I just want to see what it has for the way of resources so I'm gonna jump there um, where are we here so it's the same it's probably right in the middle of the planet no nope. okay here we go um, it's the same thing you gotta go forward fairly quickly point in the direction and then hit K Warp. And now all my fuel is spent, because that was the max amount that my tank can hold, and you can only ever have one warp tank on you at any given in any given vehicle. Okay, so let's take a look. What do we got here? We've got copper, cobalt, neo, sath, promethium, and iron. Wow! Okay, so right away. Uh, so Ninga's has the stuff that you need right off the bat if you start on Ninguez. Ouch, that's going to be super difficult. So good to know. Uh, what about the planet? Let's take a look at the planet. So on the planet, iron, promethium, silicone, cobalt, sathium, and neo. Wow. Wow. So, so they, they actually give you the resources on the planet to actually build a CV. And Sathium, Promethium, and Neo respawn with depletion meteorites. Okay, no random ones, but... So that's viable to go there and try and get that stuff. Um, okay, so what about Zahines is too far away, so we can't actually teleport to there. So, okay, so Ningas looks like a good, a good opportunity. So let's just jump back to Akua really quick. And then... right we need to fill the tank back up so we'll just fill all and then keep going and warp and that's right I tested the warp once and flew through here, didn't I? Yes, I did. Because now I have two things marked already. Copper and iron. Now, there's copper, cobalt, silicone, promethium, and iron in Akua. So we don't need to... We're not going to fly around the ring and discover more, I think, at this point. If we need to, when we build a CV, we can, we can mine all that out. So let's keep going we want to go to skill on and go back into here fill our tank again okay here we go on to skill on to see what it's got okay so Looks like there's a trade outpost right ahead of us somewhere, maybe on the other side of the planet or something. I can't actually see it, but let's take a look to see what Skillon has. It has copper, cobalt, neo, sath, and promethium in the asteroid field. And then on the planet itself, cobalt, silicone, promethium with depletion of promethium. 
Okay. Hmm. And doesn't look like we can get to anywhere else. Muscatoon. No. No. Okay, so... Meh. I'm not really interested in skilling. There's not really anything here that... I mean, the Neo Sath, I guess, in the asteroids. But the planet itself, Cobalt, meh. Doesn't get depletion Cobalt, so... Hmm. And the asteroids won't respawn in single player. So, really, I'll come back here... I guess if I need the Neo and Sath, which I probably will. I'll probably mine all that crap right out with a CV. Uh, okay, so the only other place we haven't checked then is the trading outpost. Let's go back to Akua again. And how we doing? See, still 240 in that stack. I still got another couple stacks at home, so it's woof. Lots of pentaxid right now. Okay, so let's... Warp. And then we're gonna go to the trading outpost. Lock that. Okay, so it's looking like hmm. So we've got Ningas with all the goodies we want with depletion, Sathium, Promethium, Neo um Skill on. No. So it only has stuff in orbit. So I guess. I guess Ningas. We're going to try and find some Sathium and, and Neo on Ningas. Okay, so we're going to go back to Akua. And go back into our thing. Okay. And then we warp to Akua. Okay. And then we go back into our thing, fill that up. We go to here. And we're going to Ningas. So, Ningas, here we come. too worried about what's flying around out here. Uh, I'm not really interested right now. And this is one of these asteroid fields that I know how to find stuff. It's yeah, between like 3,000 and 4,500 from the planet. What you do is you go, you get up to the planet, you level off. So you go, you hit O until you're level. Make sure you're facing the dead center of the planet so the poles go in, in between the dead center and then what you do is you fly around in a perfect ring around the planet at around the um, I usually do around the 3, 3 3500 range and just do a circle around the planet on its axis so hitting O 
So if I hit O right now, you can see I'm I'm actually almost perfect. Perfect to, to so basically I would be I would come in and I would just start flying around in in a circle around the planet at like 3500 at this hit O oh, see I'm right dead center of the planet so uh, I'm not interested in that it's just gonna it's kind of a pain in the ass although it's probably safer hmm that is a thought it's probably safer but I can get to it with my CV later on, which I can't get to stuff on the planet with my CV, so... And I can just jump in my blocks and fly really quick if the patrol vessel shows up. So let's just do this. Let's let's go to uh, Ingus. Um, yeah, hopefully I don't show up right on top of a POI, because then, you know, I'll probably die. something down over there. See that? Behind me? It's a little foggy. Not sure what that is. It might be... It looks kind of like a, a vessel of some sort, so that might actually be the... We'll just... We'll just dare to go forward a little, or down a little. We'll just, we'll just risk it here. Not really sure what that is. I'm not really sure, and there's something red ahead of me. So let's see what we got here. And there's a crashed vessel in front of me, so let's take care of this guy really buried wow so this is definitely smoother yeah it's definitely easier to, to fly now without the without being over RCS so that's good okay so um, I'm not I'm not too worried about looting at this point I'm not trying to get the cobalt because I got a hole stack of it now so meh I think I'm past the loot absolutely everything in my path part I'm, I'm not in survival mode anymore right I've got plenty of food I've got I've got I've got a couple of good vehicles I can you know go to space so it's I pass survival now I'm in the expansion part I'm looking for for stuff for my I need Neo and I need Sath so that's what we're looking for okay we're going into the dark side so i'm going to switch to my night vision and we're going to have a little bit of a glare until that goes away okay so oh there's the planetary vessel did you see that just teleport in um so he spotted me he's coming after me you can see he's pointing directly at me uh, what do I got here? I've got 880. I could really hurt him bad. And depending on which one he is, it's not, it's not a bad idea, maybe, to neutralize this guy. That's not a bad idea. I neutralize this guy, and all I have to worry about is drones. Kinda recognize this one. I'm not really sure though. So let's just let's see. We're gonna 
We've got 278 for range, so we really gotta. I'm not really sure what where his stuff is. So it's medium, patrol vessel medium, I'm not sure. And another thing too is I gotta aim ahead of where I want to shoot because I don't have guided missiles, so I just gotta keep aiming far ahead. I'm trying to get it looks like I'm getting where I want. Yeah. buttons. Hitting the wrong buttons. Gonna get myself killed. You can see he can't actually shoot me, which is a good thing. So we'll just keep peppering away at that midsection there. I don't actually want to take out his weapons, because I can get a whole bunch of... I can either get potentially some power throws out of them, or... You know, so we'll just keep shooting them here. And just keep going. It's hard when he moves because I don't, like I said, I don't have guided missiles. And we're getting close to a POI down there. So I gotta be careful of that. that I don't want that coming and giving me a bad time. Yeah, I don't actually know where the core is on this particular build, so I'm, I'm just kind of guessing. Let's try over here. Just going for the center of it. Really? And maybe, you know, I just... I'm blowing stuff up. I can see explosions. I just probably won't have enough... If I can get rid of his generators or something, then I just kill this guy. Okay, I think he's ready to get life now. There we go. There we go. I got his core. I just guessed at that. Okay, so... Uh, okay, so you know what? I think we need to go down and loot it. Multi-tool it really quick. That's what I think. So, it's still... Whoa! Maybe not! What the hell's shooting at me? What the hell's shooting at me? What was shooting at me? What was shooting at me? Shit. So, excuse my language, that was awfully rude. Um, really? We've got this guy. <sighs> Crap! I'm not going to be able to loot him, unless I, well maybe, let's try over here, let's see, let's see, so we'll just back up a bit, we'll go over here, and we'll try and get down, but it's still, I didn't pop the core, I, I, like it's still red, isn't it supposed to, isn't, and it looks like it's still running. No? Okay, so what's going on there? What's going on there? I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, something's trying to hit me? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I hear explosions. And I don't see where from. Oh, I bet you there's a turret still active in there. 
Right? Right? So do I... Do I just continue? somewhere because or is that just because it's on a funky angle so it's showing its name there <sighs> see and I don't trust that thing oh there there there's its core right there okay so that was right in the pivot point at the back there. So I must have taken out something else. So now, okay, so let's let's see. Do I get attacked? No. Oh yes, see? Yes I do. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I don't I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. What's going on? Is there, is there like dudes on the ground shooting at me or something? So, so what's, what's that noise is? What, what are those noises? Why is it blowing up? Why, why is it attacking? Is it attacking me? Uh, I want to multi-tool it. Should I just risk it? Should I just risk it? Huh? I think I do. I think I need to risk it. So let's just lower. See, it's... What's it doing? Oh, oh, don't like that. Let's hit O. Oh, it's blowing up. It's, it's making weird noises. Okay. It's scaring the bejesus out of me is what it's doing. So let's get my drone. We'll just do a quick little jump. Get my drone out. And we'll use that. Okay, so... Let's get up here. Let's get these thrusters. So we want to try disassembling. I got Neo and stuff. Okay, so there's more in here. Let's just let's just go for it. I'm not sure what all this is. I'm just going for it. Okay, so there's thrusters over on the other side here too, right? Right? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Just, I'm just, just going crazy with it. I don't care. Oh, and and what's that? Something's coming in at us. Something's coming in at us. Is there something coming in at us? No, nope, maybe not. No, nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, okay. So, and it's gone. Okay, let's Woo. get rid of the night vision. Don't need that now. Well, and what is this guy over here? Oh, that's the platform, right? So we need to destroy the platform now. So, okay, I recognize this platform. I'll just hammer down, right down in the dead center, if you just keep hammering at it. The core is through 
the center. So right over here. And come on. Oops. Wrong buttons. Wrong buttons. So right. Come on. No. No more planetary vessel on this planet. Um, that's awesome. You know what? Now that I killed it, we should actually take a look at it. I mean, it wasn't wasn't my intention to do POIs today, but this is this was an opportunity we couldn't pass up. We needed to do this. So. Now, landing on the platform could be really risky. No, nope. come on. Let's land properly. Because if I die, I cannot get back up to my SV. And then I can't get home, so the only way to do it would be to, to spawn back at my home base, and then I lose everything on me and my SV. <laughs> so that would super suck. Okay, so we want some food. Let's... Oh, kept it all on me. That's okay. We should actually... Oh, hey, look at this. Nine power coils. We ended up with 15 oscillators and six flux coils. That's a huge... Oh, look at the arrestrium I got out of it and ciscosium. Huh. And Ciscosium Alloy, 12, nice. I, I, and, oh, hardened, oh yeah, wow, what a score. Some combo, oh yeah, that was, that was so worth it. That was, that's huge right now. Huge. That is massive. Okay, so let's put that away. Let's put that in this cargo box. As loot. I'll classify that as loot. Why not? So, wow, stack of Neo. Okay. So Uber, so worth it. Let's jump out. Um, you know what? Before I go anywhere, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do the coward's thing and go take a look and make sure there's no dudes down here. So there are no dudes down here. Okay. And the core was right there. You can see I shot down through the ceiling and did enough damage to hit the core, do the do enough damage to, to kill the core. So we've got stuff down in here, but not much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zap it. Um, now, I could put a core in here. <sighs> no, I don't I don't really care. I'll just I'm going to deconstruct. I don't need stuff. And then you can see anything that had a, that was a container, just the stuff drops then and you can just whoops, I didn't mean to do that. And then you can just pick it up with your drone. <laughs> So it's the way to loot. If you've if there's no core, you can loot like this. Okay, I think that's the only things of value actually in here. Uh, now, not to say that there isn't things of value still. The other thing we can't grab, we need to actually do that on foot, is the fuel and oxygen, but we'll come down here and do that. Um, the other thing, actually, what we'll do is we'll just pop through here and underneath here in these, there's two little, there they are, 
So these little things here are actually hidden chambers. So we're going to grab, or we're going to pop the wall out and you can see, yeah. And then I'm just going to, how much space I got in me? Lots. Okay. Actually, but what I will do is before I'll aim at a non-block, I'll hit P that goes into my cargo box. So I can just put the stuff in there really quick so I don't run into space issues. Okay, and now I'm actually going to pop these to pick them up. And, oh, nice. Too bad I didn't have those over. But, ooh, 13 gold ingots. That'll turn into a lot of gold coins. Okay, and then this one. What's in here? Are you kidding me? Nothing? Really? No. Really? A rare, uh, a, a rare container had nothing in it. Gee. Ice golems over there. Okay, let's take a look at what's in here. So there's a couple containers in here. We'll check this one first. And, oh, nice. <clears throat> ore, rare ores. Decent amounts too. And we'll zap this guy. And, oh, auto miner cores. Nice. Okay. And that's something I can actually maybe consider building some now if I've got enough resources. Uh, well, I think that's it for the patrol, patrol vessel headquarters. I don't remember anything else being of value. I mean, I can start popping all this stuff and go for the... Um, all the cobalt and stuff, but I'm really not into it. And I don't think there's anything in this. It's just a, it's just empty. Yeah. And this is just the center room where the core. Oh, actually, you know what? That's a decent generator. Let's try. We could pop the core in and try and take the generator. Hmm. Hmm. Or I could just try salvaging the parts. I mean, I could make more. Let's just take the parts for now. Flux coils, right? Uh, so let's come down and we'll grab the oxygen and fuel. Come on. And I don't see anything. Okay. Careful not to fall, because that would suck. That would suck huge. I would not be able to get back to my vessel, and I would cry. Okay, so what do we got here? Eh, it's a bit. It's only you can only pick up uh, stacks of two hundred at a time. So that was like three bottles. Me. Something. It's more than what we've consumed so far on the journey, so. And let's check the fuel. Huh. A bit. Uh, I believe you can get stacks of 30. So let's just, for fun, go like this and go. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. 24 little ones. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, God. I wasn't paying attention there. And if that wasn't a... I would have just walked right through that and fell. And then been screwed. Well, guys. I'm thinking this is probably a good place to stop. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fly around. I pretty much can actually fly around without fear of the planetary vessel taking me out when I find something to mine. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fly around. I'm going to find some Neo and Sath. Uh, I'm going to mine it out and then I'm going to head back to Okua. Um, and then I'll get some parts going for a CV. We might do a CV build next episode. So 
booyah, we've got some good work done today, and uh, that will continue on into the next episode. Until then, guys, if you like and subscribe, or if you like, uh, hit your like button and subscribe, and we will talk to you guys later. Ciao.